Hello, babe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashley Flores, and you are here to watch an Alphalete try on haul. The launch is January 27th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. You could use my code Flores to save an additional 10% off. So, this launch is going to be aura based. It's also going to have some sweatpants, and it's also going to have a few running things. And if you know me personally, you know that I am a runner, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, aura wise, there's of course the flares offered in tall, thank goodness, and normal. There's going to be leggings, two different lengths of shorts, two different sports bras, the shrug, and then there's also some cute new sweatpants and sweatshirts, crop sweatshirts, running shorts, running jacket, a whole bunch of stuff. So if there's a specific item that you want to see, go ahead and hit the timestamp down below. I have timestamps, I have my stats, my sizing, all sorts of additional info down below. Of course, it's always in my videos as well. If I do miss your question, feel free to reach out to me personally on Instagram or comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible because I always wanna make sure that you are fully confident in what you want to snag on launch day. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have the Aura Sculpt Bra in a size small. And this is the color oak. For starters, they have the minimal monotone branding on the back, not the front. There is no adjustments on this. The straps are the way they are. You cannot adjust them. It does not come with padding. However, it does have a slit where you can put your own padding. I would suggest putting in round padding versus triangle. I've tried putting in triangle and it doesn't sit exactly the way I want it to and it kind of ripples. So keep that in mind. They did add these stitched um, slits here, I guess is what you could say it. The reason being is because it helps a lot with it staying in place and you not experiencing under boob. Impact wise, definitely more of a low impact. I would not run in this sports bra. I would not do a high intensity workout in this sports bra. However, hitting a gnarly leg day or something where I'm not like flaring or doing a lot of intensity, completely fine, it stays in place. This is my favorite sports bra of Alphalete. This and the strappy bra, which is actually, there's more in an updated fit of that, which we'll talk about in a second. But the comfort, the comfort, the comfort, that you um you had the comfortability is that even a word the comfort of these bras and just the aura collection in general is impeccable like i think aura is here to stay because of how great the quality is how amazing it feels it's definitely more my favorite bottom wise for athleisure versus working out, but the sports bras, they are my go-to for anything and everything. I'm relaxing at home, my go-to. I'm going to the gym, my go-to. I am obsessed with fabric and the fit of these bras. I am a 32D, but I also have fake implants. So natural, larger breast girlies. This bra, unfortunately, may not give you the most coverage or support. You may experience a lot of under boob or a little bit of spillage. Use your own discretion on ordering. I normally, in sports bras, am between extra small and small, just depending on how the cut and fit is of this. With these ones, I prefer a small, extra small. I experience too much under boob. Uh, especially with them making adjustments in the straps, how it fits perfect on here versus the original launch, like there was maybe like an inch of it, but just being a little bit too long, you do feel supported. You don't feel like you need to constantly adjust it. It stays in place. So this is the Aura Sculpt Bra. I will put all of the colors here. Next up, we have the Aura Three Strap Bra. So this is very, very, very similar to the strappy bra. However, the back is different. The back is very similar to the long, long line Aura Bra, where it has the the straps across it versus the original strappy bra that has the crisscross applesauce on the back. This one does not have adjustable straps either versus the original strappy bra does have the adjustments. So th keep that in mind. There are no, there is no padding with this bra. However, same thing, it has the area for you to put padding in as well. Um, heads up also, if any of your sports bras don't have an insert area for your padding, just put it against your skin. It will stay in place and it actually looks better. You can't really see the padding as well, especially on your whites, which I've, I've told you guys before. But I like doing that for any of my bras if I do need padding in it or I'm doing it for a shoot because it minimizes the appearance of the padding inside of it. 
Branding here, very minimal. It's a monotone. It's like the rubbery silicone type one. Not super raised, but you can feel it. Now, my concern with this bra, right now it sits very comfortably. It fits me very nicely. I'm wearing a size small. Is because you can't adjust it, will it fall? Will it get a bit looser? It does feel very supportive. I would say medium impact. I don't think I would run in this sports bra though because of the minimal straps here. One second, hold on. Nate just got home. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> okay, so that would be my concern with this. I just prefer that if something is so minimal here that I'm able to adjust the straps because everyone's breasts are different. Therefore, we need a little bit different support here. Uh, but with that being said, I'm a size small and I will put all of the other colors here. Also, I really love this sunset color. I just wish that it launched more summertime. I feel like it's a little bit too bright for us going still in the winter time. Also a little bit of concern of mine. I wish they dropped these in the shorts and not the leggings uh, because I do find that this color with how bright it is in this material, you probably can't see it. It's just a wee bit see-through. Not enough where it would stop me from wearing it, but of course I'm going to tell you guys that. Very beautiful color. Just wish it launched summertime because it's definitely giving like bright summer vibes. Next up, Aura Strappy Longline Bra. So this one does not have adjustable straps, same slits for your padding, but it's definitely a little bit longer. Uh, and with that being said, it's also a little bit more support than the other bras. So I think this is great for women who are larger chested or require more support. Example, a run or a high intensity workout. The back is crisscross, very similar to the three-way strap bra that I showed you previously. Since it's longer, it has more straps here. Very flattering. It does not dig into you. Very comfortable. I'm wearing a size small in this one. I've tried extra small before and it's still very comfortable. I just found that right here, because the fabric, they have like a little bit thicker right here, it just dug into me and it was a little uncomfortable. So I would definitely recommend sizing up in any of the bras if you're in between sizing. If not, your true to size will be completely fine. I will put all of the colors here. Side note, Alphalete, I think a great idea and opportunity would be to keep this but also have another version that came down to about here and it had the same back or even just a few lines and then became solid i think that would be appreciated by a big audience and i would love to see it okay bye all right we have the shrug and color glacial lake really quick i'm gonna step back so you guys can see the cute fit. So I love these shrugs. I love actually wearing them underneath baggy short sleeve shirts because it looks like I'm wearing something long underneath, but then I'm still able to breathe. I'm not overheating. And I've also seen quite a few girls because the branding is so minimal, they dress these up with like their going out outfits, which I love to see. I don't have that confidence, but I love to see it. <laughs> it's very cute, very comfy. I'm wearing a size extra small here. I prefer the extra small over the small because there's less like gap here um, and I just feel like it fits me nice in form. I love that my armpits are able to breathe. Uh, it still covers my armpits just a wee bit so when I wear it I do get some sweat around here because the aura material is not sweat proof one bit. The second you start sweating you see it. Uh, I love the thumb holes here very comfortable and I actually prefer as cute as this is, like I do wear it like this a lot. I love wearing the shrug with sweatpants because I feel like it kind of makes it look more put together. Like this up top, sweatpants, some baggy jewelry, you're ready to go. It's very cute, put together. And also, I've mentioned this before, but I feel like this shrug over full length tanks is such a move. And hopefully Alphalete comes out with like built-in sports bra full-length tanks out of this aura material that we can do that with because I think that's a missed opportunity uh, which I've said before but anyways I'm going to put all of the colors here time to talk about some bottoms now so these are the aura flare 
leggings. Now I am wearing them in a size extra small. I definitely prefer the extra small over the small on me. I would highly suggest that if you're in between sizing for any of the Aura bottoms, size it down. There is no front seam here. It still has like the nice contour here that kind of creates the illusion of some curves going on. Now these come in both regular and long. I prefer the long and I'm 5'3". So I highly suggest that if you do want the long version, you go in with a plan and you try to snag them because a lot of people prefer the long over the regular. Uh, my reason being is I just feel like they actually are a true flare look and I'm able to wear chunky sneakers or Uggs with them and they look good versus the regular. If you are new here, I have on the regular length when they originally came out because they were just way too short. So the fact that they came out with tall versions, I am so happy about because these, these pants have now turned into something that I gravitate towards all the time. Going to Pilates, going to yoga, on my rest days, just hanging out. I love these now. There is no front seam, but with this material, you are very prone to camel toe. It's very similar to a line. So how it's buttery soft, it's gonna go to any crevice that you kinda want or don't want. And so with that being said, the way I go about it is I wear seamless underwear and then I'll take a very thin panty liner, um, like for your super, super, super light days or like girls who just have like, they just wear it because they, you know, they need to change it out every once in a while. Put that in your undies and then put it on and it helps with camel toe so much. That's that's one of the factors besides them making changes to the fit that made me go from hating on them to loving them because once I realized I could solve the issue of the camel toe, the material you cannot beat. It's just beyond comfortable. Like Aura is here to stay because of the quality and the feeling and how you can wear this for days and days and days and not feel like you need to get out of it. With the bottoms or Aura collection in general, they do show sweat. That's why I prefer to wear them on yoga or Pilates days versus the gym. I can be a sweaty gal sometimes and I don't need everybody to be seeing it in all my little crevices, you know? That being said, size extra small, very comfortable. They also changed the branding from being in the butt area to here on the side, which I actually like because I just feel like it's even more minimal kind of hidden. Now I'm gonna put all of the other colors here. Oh, and this is color Glacial Lake. All right, these are the Aura leggings in color glacial print. They pair great with the Aura um, glacial lake bra and shrug. There's also a strappy bra that goes with them perfectly. I only ordered one set of this ombre look because it reminds me a lot of when Alfleet did the ombre. And I don't think that it did really good, to be honest. Like I personally liked it at the time, but now I never gravitate towards wearing it, which is unfortunate. I probably should start wearing it more again because at the time I really loved it. But I feel like that's how these are gonna be. I feel like they're not as versatile. You can't mix and match different sports bras with it as much. And it's just, I don't know, you're just not gonna gravitate towards wearing them as much because of that. Again, cute, cute print. If I were to choose any of the little weird ombre prints, it would either be black or this one because this one's more of a statement and then black's more subtle, but it would not be my first pick. Again, because it's just not versatile. You wanna get the most bang for your buck. But as in this, the fit of the leggings, very comfortable. You could of course like pull them up your butt if you want. Now waistband wise, they do not hug you too tight, but they look very flattering, but they do kind of move down. So like as you're working out, if you were to try to run or anything, that very silky, nice material is going to start going down. I can do a squat test right now. And right now they're actually feeling like they're staying in place, but I know from wearing them that they do move. Now there is no front seam here. Same thing that I said with the flares though, you could always do panty liner and that will help with any camel toe if you are prone to that like myself. Uh, but yeah, I usually like grabbing these in more solid colors and then throwing 
a sweatshirt over it, like a baggy sweatshirt versus wearing them to the gym. I'm a size extra small and sizing wise, I would definitely recommend sizing down if you're in between sizing on these. I will put all of the colors here. Next up we have the Aura shorts in Arctic Sky. I'm wearing a size extra small in these. Now these shorts, as you can tell, like I already kind of pulled them down. They do move, so like let's do a little squat test. Let's do some deadlifts. Let's run in place. As you can tell, they already start rolling up. So I'm definitely always fidgeting when I'm pulling them down. I like wearing Aura more Pilates yoga upper body days, not lower body because I don't feel like they're supportive enough for me or stay in place. It has that deep V. The fit and sizing reminds me a lot of Lululemon Aligns. There is no front seam, but same thing, you do kind of experience camel toe. Nothing that panty liner cannot fix. Now, these are a five inseam. They do offer a nine inseam of the shorts that are new. I personally have not tried them, but that's a four inch difference. And I was just a little bit concerned of them being an awkward length on me when they scrunched up versus a cute length. I prefer Amplify Bottoms hands down over Aura for working out. Um, for comfortability for all day, Aura wins for that. Uh, but I don't think anything will change anytime soon of me prefer preferring Amplify for working out or running. Size extra small, if you're in between sizing, size down. This is color Arctic Sky, and I will put all of the other colors offered here. These I love. So Alphalete has come out with two other running shorts before. I personally did not love, and I'm a runner. These I love. They are the Swift shorts. I've, I've shot in these in extra small. These ones are a small and I'm so happy that I ordered a small because they're a lot more comfortable. They have zippers. They're kind of hidden, but I like that because I could put my keys or anything else in that and I don't have to worry about wearing a fanny pack. It has exposed drawstrings so you can adjust it, but it is pretty snug here. Not where you'll get a tummy ache, but nice and snug and secure. There is no built-in liner, so you can wear undies or you can free ball it if you want. Um, I really love just the fit of these. Like, I feel like these are low-key kind of made, kind of low-key, I think, made for me and the runner community, and I'm very much very grateful for that. At first, when I found out I was shooting in the shorts, I was like, <laughs> I did not want to shoot in the shorts. And then I tried them on and I was like, hold on, I think I actually really like them and I do. And I think they're honestly one of my favorite things that's launched in a while, which is a statement. But I'm a runner girly, so I feel like that's kind of expected. It is sweat wicking material. And it's also the kind of material that if you like roll up and put in a drawer, it's not gonna be super wrinkly. Will it be wrinkly? Yes, but not super wrinkly to where you're like, I don't feel like ironing this, I'm not wearing it, and then you never wear it. Uh, I am a size small in these, so I would say if you're in between sizing, go ahead and size up. It's better to have your running clothing be a little bit baggy on you versus too tight, especially with how short they are. You don't want them to ride your butt cheeks or ride your thighs to where you get uncomfortable. I'm going to put all of the other colors here. Retro crop jacket, so I really like this. I think it's gonna be great for hiking or walks or just to cover up for the gym. I personally would not wear it running, although it looks like a running track jacket. I just feel like the material isn't as breathable as I would like. The inner lining is nice and net, so if you are sweaty, you're not gonna feel like you're dirtying it up. Um, it also, oops. I think I just broke the zipper. Oh no, I didn't. I was like, oh no, that is terrible for a try on <laughs> um, It is a zipper. It has the Alphalete here, which feels pretty, I don't know, like you can't even feel it. Now there are other colors in this, but I felt like this one was the most versatile and would go with other things versus like bright orange, bright purple, whatever else it is. I'm wearing a size extra small in it. And I would recommend that if you're in between sizing, you could size down, it's very oversized fit. I think if I got a size small, it would just would have been more of like a normal jacket on me versus a cropped. But I also do have a shorter torso. It still, it also has like kind of a drop shoulder relaxed 
feel to it. So that's why I feel like you could size down and still have that oversized look. But I will put all of the other colors here. All right, Trilogy cropped hoodie. So as you can see right off the bat, there's a lot of detailing going on on the sleeves, but absolutely nothing on the front or the back of it. Uh, it's really comfy. It's actually fleece lining on the inside. I'm wearing a size extra small and I'm really glad that I got this size because I feel like if I did a small, it would be, just be a little bit too long. I noticed how it fit on the model and I wanted it to fit the same as it did on the model. I like the hood. It kind of just like sits where you could still see the hood versus you know how sometimes hoodies, they like drag you back. This one doesn't do that. It's very light, comfy. And I got the white because I just felt like it was more versatile. I'm all about versatile items. And I will put all of the other color options here. All right, so this is the script hoodie and script jogger. I got the hoodie in a size medium because I like when they are oversized. Now the sweats I got in a size small and I was worried about them being too big, but honestly, I feel like I could have done even a medium just because I really wanted this to be like super oversized, like effortless. Here's my hobo chic outfit. Um, it has the same puffed logoing like all throughout it. Like on the pants, it's on the side. Here it's on the front. And then there's also, there's definitely logoing here on the side as well. Very comfy. It's double fleeced lined. Uh, I feel like I could wear this both in the summer and the winter. It's cuffed bottoms here, cuffed, cuffed shoulders. Definitely more of a relaxed oversized fit. And I would definitely recommend sizing up for comfortability. Do not size down in it. I would not recommend sizing down. Like I'm I'm a pretty petite girl and the smalls fit me great on the waist. They're not dragging, they're not falling too hard. I feel like extra small would have been something that I would have shrunk and never worn again versus this fits great. I also wanted to order the white because I wanted to see if it was see-through, especially the pockets. And I feel like they're pretty fine. Like I think you could see the outlining of the pockets, but you'd be able to see that with any of the colors and not just the white, but I will put all the other colors here. All right, you guys, I can't see right now because <laughs> the sun is officially setting. I finished just in, just in time. Um, but thank you so much for watching my try on haul. Again, if you have any questions or you want to reconfirm my sizing or anything like that, go ahead and check it down below in the caption. And if I miss any of your questions, feel free to reach out to me or comment them. And please use code Flores when you shop because it directly supports me and it saves you 10% off. So anyway, I love you and I'll catch you in the next one.